What's going on everyone? Kevin Wagstaff here. Today we're going to take you through an iPad demo of the mobile app. It's not all that different than uh, the mobile app for iPhone and Android phones, but I just wanted to show you on the bigger screen um, kind of what this looks like. So today we're going to pop into uh, a previous inspection. So we're going to go to all and then we'll just import one of these demo inspections from the cloud. All right, so I'm tapping into it here. And you can see the inspection details screen um, obviously looks much better on a tablet um, with more screen um, size to look at. So I'm gonna tap into the re residential report and we'll get going. So first I wanna make note that you can update the cover photo at any time by clicking on update report cover photo. So you can take a photo and use that there. So I'm gonna click into inspection details now and we'll go into the general section. And you see there's data already populated here, but this is very basic where you can go through, check items off. And then in any comment, you'll also see that you can flag a particular item here by turning that on and off. And then you can also select a location, which gives you a pre-populated list of locations that you can create in settings. And you can also copy any given comment. You can delete it. And then here you take photos within the comment. So any photo you take within a comment is gonna be attached to that comment, whether it's informational or a defect. But right here, we just have some informational comments here, the basics, and we'll go back out. So we'll pop into now electrical and just look at what marking a defect looks like. That's the most basic function, the thing you guys are gonna to need to do the most or the most important uh, task. So uh, click into smoke detectors and I'm gonna mark this as inspected and then I'm gonna mark defect here. So we'll click on inappropriate location and from that view, again, you can click on photo. I'll take a photo here. We're gonna use that one and then we're going to drag our finger to annotate it and add some arrows. So this is probably more a more appropriate place to add a location. So we'll say second floor, south, living room. And that shows up on the report right under that defect name and appropriate location. So if you did wanna flag this for later, you could do that if you wanted to research it some more or ask a question. Um, this right here is the cost estimator function. Um, some inspectors take advantage of this and what that does is you give a range of potentially what it would cost to remedy. Um, some love it, some don't do it due to a fear of liability, um, but I think appropriately disclaimed, um, I think you'll be okay on this. So it's a feature I like um, and as an agent and as a potential home buyer, um, I think they really appreciate that help as well. All right, so we are we have that defect notated. So if you wanted to add a new defect, you would click on new observation here at the bottom. And that'll bring up your window to add a new defect. So we'll just add some text here. And this save to template for future use button is super powerful. So for those of you that don't know, um, this essentially will save this new defect to your template. So it starts showing up tomorrow morning on your next inspection. Very powerful tool, helps you kind of customize on the fly. You build your template as you go. Um, it ends up being a big time saver, especially those that um, have previously been used to adding defects at home or trying to remember or having a weekly team meeting for multis. Um, just something that really helps you refine the template as you go. All right, so we'll get out of there and we'll go back up to the section level. So. Um, we'll stop here to do a few basic functions. So if you swipe right to left on any given section, you'll see the duplicate and delete button. So you can duplicate a section, delete a section there. And then also that is down on the section on the item level as well. So if you swipe right to left on any item that's just not present or you're not reporting on it, you can certainly delete it there. So the saving to template also works for adding sections and items. So if you add a new section and you wanna start a blank section from scratch, you can save it to your template for future use. All right, so let's go deep down into a comment. So when you're in walkways, patios and driveways, we'll say this one's not inspected and we'll go in there. 
you can add a limitation. So I'm adding new limitation here. And what this is saying, I'm just adding a reason why I didn't inspect it. So those limitation comments show up in the limitations tab on the report, whereas the informational comments show up in the informational tab and then the defects below that. You'll also notice here the magnifying glass at the top right. This is global search. This warrants its own video. Um, we'll put out a demo video specifically on this, but this helps you find any defect or comment within your entire template um, just by hitting that global search. So you'll notice here, we're gonna type in crack, and this is gonna show us anything in the entire template. And you can limit this by clicking on that global icon at the top right, and then that will either show you the whole template or just the section or item you're in with what you're searching for. Um, and you can also limit it by just informational items like this, or you can say, I wanna see anything with the word crack in it in my informational comments, my limitations or observations. So you'll notice from this view, you can also call out the defect, take a photo, uh, flag it, do all the things you could do if you just navigated to it, but this gets you to it a little faster using the global search. Next, if you want to amend a comment within one of your defects that you've called out, you simply go into the defect. We'll go to paint cracking here. And when you're within there, you can modify the text. And then we want to save that as our default. So again, you're saving this at the comment level. You're saving the, the narrative or the comment text to your default library. So that's going to be in there. And you can also view which photos are attached. You can tap on those to annotate them some more and then click the checkbox. If you wanna add a caption to a photo, that'll show up in the report. You're simply clicking on the little uh, message bubble here at the bottom right and you can add a caption. You can type it in or you can add these locations here as well. So you can type any caption in and if you just tap on that field, you can type in custom text there. So that's worth noting. All right, once you have data entered in, you can click on the save button here that just pushes everything up to the cloud to desktop, or you can hit sync, which will save everything up to the cloud as well, but also pull any changes down from that was done on desktop. So if someone's making changes on desktop at the office or another inspector for multi-inspector firms that do team inspections, this will pull down any of their changes that they've previously saved up. One killer feature that inspectors are loving and agents and clients as well is the mobile summary. So if you tap on summary here, this is meant for a walkthrough with the client on site. Uh, most of our inspectors just love this feature. Um, you don't need a connection for this as well. So if you're doing the entire inspection offline um, and you haven't saved it yet, you can still pull up this mobile summary. So you'll see, you can go down here. There's our little business potato mascot. Um, and then you have a bunch of other defects here. So. Great thing to walk through as an agent. I would have loved this um, and as a home buyer as well, just to kind of summarize everything and go through it on site. Now I wanna go through the more options button here. So if you tap more options, you'll notice there's edit inspection details. This takes you to the web version of spectora.com. So this is basically like being on a computer and you can edit any of those details assuming you have a connection. So you do need a connection to either add a fee um, or change inspection details. In the future, we plan to have most of this in the mobile app. This particular account is synced up with our Secure24 integration, so that button is there. And then for sync all data, so occasionally if you have a poor connection or if there's a weird image file type or something that just didn't save, you wanna try to hit for sync all data first because sometimes this is like another push to basically make sure everything gets up to the cloud. Kind of a last resort typically, we don't have to use it all that often, but it's an option there at your disposal. And then you can publish from site as well. So it shows the publish option. Let's take a quick look at mobile settings. These are no different than if you're looking at it on your phone, but let's go into settings. So you can enable the flashlight. There is the gallery camera, otherwise known as the CYA camera. And I'll show you where that is. Let's go into an inspection. And these are photos that don't make it into the report but they still stay with the folder on your device um, that hopefully you eventually save to the cloud uh, via Dropbox or Google Photos. But these are photos by tapping on the little camera icon at the bottom right. They're not attached to any given defect. These are just photos that are gonna end up in that folder for your archiving. All right, other settings. So we talked about global search. So there's search comments on. 
is going to either search in the titles or the text within comments when you do that search. Sync frequency, this is how often you want the app to automatically save data to the cloud. Super powerful feature, um, a lot of inspectors love this. Typically they do every five minutes or 15 minutes, um, every 15 seconds will drain the battery more because it's constantly trying to save your data. Um, and some do on demand, and that's just means when you click save or sync is when it's going to save, it's not gonna continually do it. Backup photos to gallery, I highly recommend everyone has this checked off. It's checked off by default when you download the app. What this does is just copies all your inspection photos to an album in your photo gallery. So you can always have it for archiving or to re-add photos to a defect in the event something doesn't save. Saving the annotated images to gallery, some inspectors like it, some don't. It can cause doubling up um, of photos, but some like to have those uh, for liability purposes. Photo quality, we recommend leaving it about where it is at about that 75% level. Um, pictures still turn out very good. Higher quality photos are gonna make um, the app have to work a little harder, and so you can use your discretion there. Auto annotate, what this is gonna do is take you directly to the screen where you draw the arrows and boxes on your photos, and you can decide if you want that on all your photos or just deficiencies only. Since in informational photos don't always have those arrows or boxes, um, you can use your discretion there. And then finally, we have the reset app memory button at the very bottom. So only use this if you have saved every inspection that's on your device. So what this does, it's like a flush out of the app. So it will delete an inspection if you haven't saved it already to the cloud. But if you've saved everything to the cloud and synced it properly, you can hit this button. This sometimes clears out uh, bugs, issues. It's basically like clearing your cache on your computer. So sometimes app build up memory and they build up processes that happen by doing lots of intensive uh, data transfer. What this does is it flushes it out and it can clear a lot of problems. So only use this um, after you've saved every inspection that you're working on in your device to the cloud. All right, guys, hopefully that was just a quick and dirty um, iPad walkthrough for you. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to use the chat bubble and let us know. Thanks.